I didn't do an empties video last month because I just had nothing to talk about. I really didn't have a good panning month last month. Not many empties, if any empties, were got in my collection and there was no point coming on here and being like, no empties today guys. So I decided to push everything back a month and today I'm so excited because we've got a good, good juicy basket this month full of empties. So I have hair care, skincare, makeup, everything that you could possibly imagine. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, like and subscribe. I upload every single day and I'm trying so hard to hit 5,000 subscribers. We are nearly there. We are 4.93 thousand subscribers so very very close you guys so close I am going to be doing a little giveaway and also a live stream when I hit 5,000 so if that sounds like a good time to you then definitely hit that subscribe button I love bright fun colorful makeup project panning get ready with me's empties all that kind of stuff so it's a really fun time here if I do so so myself so I'm gonna go in the order of kind of like hair care skincare um, and then makeup at the end just because I like to keep some suspense here on my channel I love to leave the best to last because I think it's just so satisfying. So let's go. The first product that I want to talk about is a hair conditioner. So exciting. Uh, this is the Lacura Apple Conditioner and it is one that I have been repurchasing for forever. It is fine. It's like not the best. I don't know what's happening with my hair recently, but it's just kind of like not been as good. I use the glaze hair mask and the top of my hair feels really smooth but then the bottom of my hair just feels like not great and my friend has got me onto a new shampoo and conditioner. It is the Weller stuff. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but she says that that is so much better than this. And I, I don't know if it's the weather turning, if it's getting colder and more like dry, but my hair is really struggling. It is very, very dry on the ends. I only washed it last night, but it's not as smooth as it normally is. So I'm quite glad that this is an empty. I do have another one on the go right now, but I think after I finish with this, it's gonna have to be a bit of an upgrade for my hair, especially now in the winter months. It is pin straight, as you can probably see there. It just feels kind of like straw-like a little bit, and I just wanna have a little bit of an upgrade. This is like the cheapest shampoo and conditioner duo that you can possibly get. I think it's like one pound something for each of these, so I don't know. I think my hair deserves a little bit of a treat, and I have just been going through these over and over and over and over again for years. I've not really given much thought to my hair, so maybe it is time for a bit of an upgrade. I don't know, I just love how inexpensive these are, but in the winter months, my hair, I think it just needs a little bit of a treat. I think it needs a bit of a hydration boost. Maybe I'll get like a hydrating mask, but then I thought the glaze mask would do that as well. I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same. I used my glaze hair mask last night and it doesn't feel like it normally feels when I put that glaze hair mask on. Normally my hair is so smooth and soft and it's just not. So I'm gonna have to look into that. But I have finished that. I'm very happy, very excited to have this as an empty. Let's move on to a next product. So this was one I wasn't sure if I wanted to put in this video because it is a little bit of a boring one. But you know what? It is a skincare empty, so I'm gonna put it in. These are my makeup wipes, again, from Lacura. I do have another one on the go right now. I don't use these to take off my makeup, but I do use these to take off swatches when I film or just to like wipe my hands or things like that. I don't like using makeup wipes to take off my makeup because it just doesn't take off my makeup. I like very heavy makeup. I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now and everyone knows it. These really don't do much for taking off makeup on my face and I do have very acne prone skin. So if I can help my acne in any way by taking off a full face of makeup, I will. I will not use this alone. Maybe if I'm doing a two eyeshadow look day. Maybe I will use these then just to take off the eye makeup, to redo eye makeup. Sometimes that is um, something that I have to do and 
My eyes do not like those days. Let me tell you that for free. My eyes leak and water and cry and I cry inside as well. <laughs> but I stock up on these so much. They are so cheap again. The whole Lacura line is so inexpensive. So yeah, I'm happy with that just to get some, some makeup off. This is my one from today. It's not been very used and abused yet, but I guarantee the more I swatch, the more I film, the dirtier they get and I fly through them. So I don't get the super expensive ones because I don't really use them on my face. They're just for swatches, cheap and cheerful. Let's move on. So when I went through my acne phase, I swore by these. I swore by these. If you have very kind of dry skin, but you also have acne, same. These will save your life. These are from Revolution. And I know I've heard a lot of things about Revolution, how they're not the most ethical and they're because they're really cheap, they're not very good ingredients but my skin loves these. These are the salicylic acid spot patches and they do wonders for me. My skin loves salicylic acid. It is something that I learned when I went through my acne journey and these were on sale. I went to Boots the other day and I got them for £4.50 each and there are 60 in a pack. £4.50 for 60? It's a no brainer. So I have finished another box of these. Another 60 of these have gone. Honestly, my end of year empties is just gonna be full of these because I just keep buying them because they are so good for my skin. They work so unbelievably well. And I'm so excited to finally have another empties of these because I, pff, fly through. My skin is a lot better now. I know I've mentioned a few times in this video, my acne problem is pretty bad still. I am on medication for my acne. I picked my skin again today. I don't know why. See, little side note, I used to be a really bad skin picker. I would pick my skin, like even if there wasn't an enlarged pore or even if there wasn't a raised pore or anything like that, I would just pick my skin. And I don't know why, but this morning I picked my skin for the first time in weeks. And it's just so strange. You can probably see the texture here. I'm hoping it doesn't come across too bad on camera, but I will probably need these now because I've just ruined all my progress from the past few weeks and I have a date tomorrow. So good stuff. I don't know. Have you been there where you've done so well and then for some reason you just, but I don't know what happened, but something happened. I'm not gonna dwell on it too much because I don't wanna like punish myself too much. It happened, it's fine. Let's move on to the next product. So I finished this in my rolling project pan last month. So this has been in my empties bin waiting to be talked about for a while now. This is my paradise spray from Superdrug and you can see all the project pan markings there. It wasn't in for that long, which I'm very happy about, but sprays and fragrances I don't get along with. I just don't use them. I forget they exist. It's a whole thing. Like I'm not wearing any spray or perfume today. I shower, I feel like I smell fine. It's just something that never really interests me. So I am trying to get through all of my sprays because I have so many. I get gifted them for birthdays and Christmas all the time and I'm like, thanks, thanks. It's just gonna sit in a drawer. So I'm really trying to get through them. One down, another one down. I think I finished another one of these this year. So that's really amazing. But yeah, please, oh, please God, please say I don't get any more sprays or perfumes or anything like that for Christmas because I can't handle any more. I just can't do it. I have to keep these on my desk every single day to remind myself to use it because I just won't. It goes within 10 seconds. I can't smell it anymore after no time at all. So it's just there, it's fine. <laughs> so let's move on to more makeup-y things. I'm so excited. So first I have my duo lash glue. So I do have my like semi-permanent lashes on now. So I don't really know how often I'm gonna use a duo lash glue anymore, but here it is. <laughs> I've scraped this one down to the bare bones. And you know what the most annoying thing is? I went to TK Maxx ages ago because I knew this was coming to an end and I bought a lash glue and it was like so cheap because everything in TK Maxx is so inexpensive and I was like oh my god super super cheap lash glue I know I'm gonna need one I'm gonna pick one up then this came to being empty I was scraping it scraping it scraping it and I was like don't worry I've got that lash glue from TK Maxx that I bought could I find it no I could not find it anywhere so I had to go out 
and buy another new lash glue to replace this one. And then I found the TK Maxx one. So now I've got two brand new Duo lash glues in my makeup collection, just in time for me to not use Duo lash glue anymore. Amazing. Such typical timing, but you know what? At least I'm not gonna run out anytime soon. Silver linings and all that. So I'm gonna wait for my lash perm to drop a little bit. And then maybe I'll go back to just normal strip lashes. But for now, to hide the monstrosity that I did to my lashes, I'm gonna just continue to do the, I, these are the Lily lashes and I actually really like them. I think they're really cute. So for now, I'm just gonna do my semi-permanent lashes. I will see how I feel about normal strip lashes when this situation calms down. So they will be waiting in the wings, but they're there and I don't have to spend more money on lash glue for a while, hopefully. I hope they don't expire. How long do they expire? 12 months, no, I'm fine. <laughs> it definitely doesn't take me 12 months to get through a lash glue, so I'm good. And finally, I have two more products to talk about and they are indeed makeup products. So first I'm gonna talk about this. This is my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. This was in a deck of panning uh, update and I challenged myself to hit 50 uses on this and I could not hit 50 uses before I finished this. You can see there is nothing on this wand. It is pretty much completely dry and I can't take the stopper out. I'm looking down in there, there's nothing left in there. So I'm counting this as an empty. I used to take stoppers out of all of my makeup products to really make sure that I was using every last little bit. But now, honestly, I don't have the time, don't have the patience. As long as I can't really get any more out, I'm fine. I'm not gonna lose a finger to try and get an extra week's worth of product. I feel like this was really, really nice. It didn't make my under eyes too crepey because I do suffer with very dry skin. So my under eyes can use a little bit of TLC sometimes. They can be a little bit pedantic, but this worked really, really well with them. So if you do have dry skin, I would recommend this. This is also very inexpensive from the drugstore and can't say anything bad about it really. It's got really good coverage and yeah, Revolution base products are so good. Honestly, I don't know what they do with their base products because I'm always so impressed with them. So yeah. That's good. Maybe I'll have to repurchase that one because I do really love that. And finally, for my empties, I have another makeup empty and this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Vintage. It is just a little mini product and you can see there I've just pulled this out of the tube and there is no product in it. It is so dry. Same kind of deal with the concealer. I'm not about to lose a finger to take the stopper out it's fine. I've like swirled it round and I've tried to get as much out as possible and it's just not, it's not going out anymore. So I'm counting this as an empty. I feel really good about this one because this has been in my collection for so long. Kind of ridiculous. So I'm really glad that it is out. And that is two Anastasia vintage glosses that I have finished now. I did finish a full size one years ago and now I finished a mini one as well. So I feel really good about that. And with that being said, that is my empties. All of these things I'm so excited about. Oh, I can breathe a sigh of relief. I was so worried when I didn't update this empties video last month and I was like, I'm just not gonna get any empties ever again. But this month has been so good and I'm very, very happy with the progress. Let me know down below what is something that you have finished this month or if you haven't finished anything this month, what is something that you are working towards finishing? I hope it doesn't take you too much longer and I'm sure you'll finish it very, very soon. But this is the end of this video today, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, as always, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications because I do upload every single day. So much new amazing content coming your way very soon. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.